Here's why I think the Niners should definitely consider Baker Mayfield. I don't know if this is going to be possible, but you never know. All it takes is teams to pass on players. But he has to clear the, the waivers. And there's a couple of teams who are going to want him. But let's just pray that maybe he gets passed by and we somehow get him. I think this would be a brilliant move. And here's why. We don't know what to expect from Brock Purdy, but it doesn't hurt to have another quarterback who's got a lot of experience and who can probably benefit under Kyle Shanahan. A guy like Brian Greasy, he can probably coach this kid even better. Like, let's be fair. If you look at Mayfield's season as a Carolina Panthers, that was a disaster. This team wasn't even built to, like, win anything. Matt Rule is one of the worst coaches. He made this kid fail. If you look at the fair stats in Cleveland, he actually won them their first playoff game. So let's not forget about that shit. If he just had a better coach and a better supporting cast like he had before, can you imagine what he can be under Shanahan on this short-term situation? I'm not saying let's just bring him in as a starting quarterback. I'm not saying that. I'm saying it wouldn't hurt to at least bring this guy in as a backup. So if something happens, you know, we want to keep this season running. We want to have a Super Bowl run. We want to hoist that six Lombardi, but we want to keep this season alive. And this defense can keep us alive. But all we need is another quarterback depth. Just another quarterback depth and we ain't dead. We ain't dead until the season's over, like they say. But Baker Mayfield, just imagine what Shanahan could do with this kid. The guy's aggressive. He's a downfield thrower. He's not afraid of taking deep shots. This is a guy that can win you games, but you're looking at the, the, the previous games that he's played in Carolina. Look at what they got in Carolina. That's crap. Like, to be fair, the coach sucks. Everything around them just sucked there. Like, how is he going to succeed there? That was going to be hard. You know, I think when you look at it this way, Here's what can happen to Baker Mayfield. Maybe Baker Mayfield is kind of having some thoughts with his agent and say, hey, is there a way I can get to San Francisco? Because they definitely need a quarterback that I could definitely uh, back up and potentially start down the road. And if he goes to a team like the Rams, do you really think he wants to go there? I don't even think he has no fucking interest of going there. I think he's trying to clear the waivers just so he can play for a contending team. So... I think he knows there's going to be teams like Houston. There's going to be teams like the Rams. But maybe the way Mayfield might play, he might try to look like crap to them and say, I'm not interested. Sorry, I just want to go to a contending team. I like what I've seen from the Niners. I want to go there. Maybe he'll fucking purposely mess up the physical shit with them and then try to come to us. Maybe that's the case. But I'm saying, you just don't know. A lot of you guys that don't like my fucking Sooners, bro, you guys are fucking stupid. You you haven't ever seen Baker Mayfield fucking lose in Oklahoma. Baker Mayfield is a proven winner. They got a fucking statue in Oklahoma. But some of you guys don't like him because he played at Oklahoma or because the fact he's too cocky and arrogant, bro. That's the part of playing the quarterback position. You have to be arrogant. You have to have confidence at that position. If you don't have confidence, bro, then why the fuck are you playing quarterback? Some people may not like Mayfield's fucking cockiness, but what makes it so interesting about Mayfield, bro, is he doesn't fucking back down from nobody, bro. That's the kind of quarterback you'll want, even though he may rub some people the wrong way. But I'm saying to the Niner faithful and Empire, bro, this would be brilliant, bro. Just imagine under Shanahan of what this offense can be. Like, let's just say, hypothetically, we do okay with Brock Purdy. But for whatever reason, it's always good to have insurance policy. You want to keep the season rolling, you got to bring the Mayfield along the ride, just in case. But I'm letting you guys know, if you guys disagree, oh well. But I think it's a brilliant idea just to bring in Mayfield. But we'll see. It has to depend on the waivers and all that stuff. But I think it would be a great possibility just to keep our season alive. Just the fact we have a chance. And some of you Niner fans that don't like Oklahoma football, y'all need to fucking know shit about football. Trent Williams played at Oklahoma. A lot of the fucking program in Oklahoma are proven fucking winners. They know how to play football. They don't lack confidence. They fucking go with confidence, bro. They play with fucking confidence and moxie out there too. So 
I just want to put that out there. But I'm telling you, you can't go any worse with Mayfield as your backup quarterback at this point of his career. But let me know what y'all think. And if y'all disagree, it's all right. But I'm preaching for this shit. I'm campaigning for fucking Mayfield to go on to this, this journey, bro. I'm campaigning this shit. Come on, man. Let's get Mayfield a fucking a, a better supporting cast. I want this guy. I will be jumping for fucking joy if we get this guy. I'll be fucking pumped up. One of my favorite Oklahoma Sooners of all time going to the Niners would be fucking great. That would be a great early Christmas gift just to get this guy on this red and gold. He doesn't have to fucking start, but at least he'd be good insurance policy. You know what I mean? But let me know, and I'll catch y'all later. And as always, go Niners.